All right, so what we're going to do today is solve this logarithmic equation using the, T, uh, the TI Inspire, okay? And to do this, we're going to go ahead and open up a new document, and if it asks you if you want to save, uh, usually you will say no. However, there are times you may need to, but uh, in this case, I'm not going to. And we're going to add a graph. And the really nice thing with Inspire is you can add a graph, and when you add that graph, especially with a log, you can put in any base that you need. So our particular question has a log base 13. So into the base, I put my 13. And then uh, tab over and go for x squared plus 2. That's my first guy uh, right there. Okay? So it's not overly tricky. And then just arrow key down, arrow key down and put in the second logarithm which is going to be a log base 13 again, so log base 13, and then tab over to 9x plus 2. All right, and, and get that guy in there. And notice that it looks like there's possibly two points of intersection here, okay? And the, the way that we can solve this out is actually really cool. What you're going to do is you're going to hit the menu key on your calculator, menu. You're going to choose analyze graph. And then you're going to choose intersection. So, and, and then you have to tell the calculator where to look. So arrow key to the left of that first point of intersection. And not too far left because you need to get both lines to show up. And then you click to tell the calculator to start looking and then click again on the right side of the intersection to get the calculator to stop looking. And it'll tell you right there, the thing that we're interested in is that zero for the x-coordinate. That's one of my solutions, okay? The other solution then is over here someplace. So we're gonna take the exact same steps, menu, analyze, intersection, and then tell the calculator to start looking on the left and to stop looking on the right, and again, it gives us that point of intersection, and we're really interested in that x-coordinate. And so on this particular problem, we've got two solutions, 0 and 9. 